U.S. has reported its first death from the new coronavirus, in the northwest state of Washington. Officials said the patient was a man in his 50s with underlying health conditions. President Donald Trump said more cases were «likely» but that the U.S. was prepared for any circumstance. Officials said they were expanding travel restrictions on Iran and urged Americans to avoid hard-hit parts of Italy and South Korea. More than 85,000 coronavirus cases have been reported in 57 countries around the world and almost 3,000 deaths, according to the World Health Organization. The vast majority of infections and deaths are in China, where the virus emerged late last year. Local health officials confirmed on Saturday that the man in his 50s died in Washington state's King County. They said he had not traveled to any high-risk areas. There was confusion earlier as Mr. Trump described the patient as a wonderful woman. Washington Governor Jay Inslee has declared a state of emergency in response to new cases in the state. Officials in Washington state on Saturday said they were investigating a possible outbreak of the coronavirus at a local nursing home. Dr. Jeffrey Dutchen, a health official for Washington, Seattle and King County, said there were two cases associated with the long-term care facility Life Care Center of Kirkland, one a healthcare worker and the other a resident in her 70s. Dr. Dutchen said about 27 residents and 25 staff members at the center had some sort of symptoms. Officials said more positive cases were expected. In total, the WHO says there have been 62 cases in the U.S. so far. A U.S. citizen previously died in the Chinese city of Wuhan, where the virus first appeared. What else did Trump say? While acknowledging that more cases were expected, he also sought to quell fears over the outbreak. Since the early stages of the foreign outbreak my administration has taken the most aggressive action in modern history to confront the spread of this disease, he said. Our country is prepared for any circumstance. There is no reason to panic at all. He said healthy individuals should be able to fully recover.